Vivekananda Kendra is a spiritually oriented service organization. It has hundreds of branches and centers throughout India. It spreads the message of Swami Vivekananda through its service activities. Natural Resources Development Program is an integral part of Vivekananda Kendra and is called VK Nardep in short. VK Nardep contributes to sustainable development by developing technologies in the field of cost-effective construction, water management, sustainable agriculture, holistic medicine and renewable energy. It combines the wisdom of sustainable development with modern technology and packages it for the masses. In the field of renewable energy, VK Nardep has earned international accolades by establishing more than 2000 biogas plants throughout India. An Ashden Award recipient, VK Nardep has used its ground experience and technical expertise over the last 25 years to develop Shakti Surabhi, the kitchen waste based biomethanation plant. This plant provides cooking gas for your kitchen. It provides nutrient rich manure for your home garden. It also keeps your surroundings clean of the organic kitchen wastes and thus improves the environment and hygiene. Thus the plant becomes a one-stop solution for three problems. Now let us look at the installation process of the plant in a house. As the plant reaches your home this is how the package will look. The stove as well as other connecting pipes have to be taken out of the digester and the plant has to be placed in an even place with exposure to sunlight if possible. A good place can be your house roof or backyard. After you have placed the plant, the slurry outlet pipe should be fixed with it. With Teflon tape, the emergency slurry drain has to be closed. Also, the emergency water outlet pipe too should be closed. These outlets will be useful when you move the plant from one place to another. After you have set all this, let us inoculate the plant. Fresh cow dung slurry in the ratio of 1 is to 1 for dung to water should be now poured inside the digester. Care should be taken to remove fibrous wastes, straw and soil in the dung. Feeding should be done till the dung slurry comes out of the slurry outlet. Water jacket is the outer rim. It should be completely filled with water. Then gas collector has to be attached. The gate valve should be placed at the place where gas exits the plant. To this gate valve we should attach a hose pipe of at least 2 meters length. This minimum length will ensure both the vertical as well as rotary movement of the gas holder. The pipe for taking the gas to the stow should be attached in the way demonstrated here. In this pipeline at the lower side there is a gate valve through which the accumulating water from the biogas can be removed every month. Now at the kitchen the hose pipe should be attached to the stow. At the back of the stow close the air vent. Now let us see how this plant operates and its special features. In the digester, the production of methogenic bacteria will take some time depending on the climatic conditions and shall start producing the gas in three to four weeks. Afterwards, cow dung slurry is not required. During this particular period, the plant should not be fed. But nevertheless, during this time, the gas will get produced that gas should be allowed to escape. Then we should start feeding the plant with kitchen and organic waste. The feeding should start slowly. Gradually we should increase the feed. Over the period of seven to eight weeks the feed can be gradually increased starting from two kilos to five kilos. 
The plant has been designed in such a way that it can operate with underfeeding. But its performance will be affected by overfeeding. The organic waste feed goes to the digester and spreads to the entire digester surface thanks to the inlet pipe extending from the gas holder itself. Here, the bacterial reactions generate the gas. This gas uplifts the gas holder. The counterweights on top of the gas holder provide enough pressure for the gas to go to the stove through the gas outlet and hose pipe. The biogas slurry is collected through the specially designed U-shaped slurry outlet only after complete digestion. This is essentially a nutrient concentrate. Do not feed it directly to your garden plants. Dilute it in water and feed. It is a very good compost whose effects you can see visibly in your garden. The inlet pipe has a special feature as it doubles up as cum breaker, thus facilitating the faster reaction and greater gas production. Further, in the digester, scum does not form any layer, preventing gas collection in the drum. The guide pipe and support pipe ensure that, with gas accumulation and raising of the drum, gas holder does not tilt in its position. Now, let us see how the input material should be fed to the plant. We can feed cooked rice, dal, gruel, sambar and other cooked wastes including coffee and tea powder. Also non-edible oil seed cakes including neem, pungam, mahua etc. can also be fed after soaking and crushing them. In the case of vegetables, keep them soaked in hot water if possible and pour that mixture. In the case of the non-vegetarian feed, make sure to remove the bone components. Let us now see how, as a user, what should we do to maintain this plant in optimum working condition? Every day, a particular amount of wastes should be fed. Underfeeding is okay, but do not overfeed. After feeding, rotate the drum clockwise and anti-clockwise a few times. Water jacket should always be kept filled with water. Otherwise, the gas will escape through the side of the drum and the buoyancy will ensure the gas pressure. Fibrous materials like drumstick skin, banana skin, etc. Highly acidic, rasam, or highly alkaline, like ginger, wastes, should not be fed exclusively or in excess. Care should be taken to avoid dish rinsing chemicals, soaps, etc. mixing with the input. Now, let us see what the users have to say. Case in Ruth and the Brogan Anga Baro, the main Anga Wangi, Commander England, the case in Laga, Lady Anga Chedro. Nango, the Inurba, LPG, Cylinder, Kudogramador, Ira, Savi Pura, Michama. The Brogan Anga Cas on the Dio, Pine Bertha. Can you get Indian gas? Indian gas is the Vanda, Varavan, the Pietumasa, the Yetkavilla, Moon Master Gorvati, and Cylinder Gas in Lumichama. The Kudumatu Samil Taka, Sami Kedakara Lama, the Karno. Samuel and Aranje, and Kathy Botaranje, and Columbu, and Nanangi. And the other one is the 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 one this Shakti Surabi plant has been recognized by the Ministry for New and Renewable Energy, MNRE, of the Government of India. The plant design has been patented and the design can be used to construct feed plants of one cubic meter capacity. Upscaling of this technology is also possible by constructing bigger sized biogas plants for generating electricity as well as for compressed biogas like CNG. 
with the prices of the LPG gas cylinder skyrocketing and showing signs of continuing to do so, Shakti Surabi is a real solution to economize on cooking gas as well as for the disposal of household waste problem. Further, the plant can help reduce the greenhouse gases from the organic wastes and convert them into cooking gas, thus producing wealth from the waste. The ultimate dream of VK Nardep is one biomethanation plant per every Indian house. Yes, if throughout India each house has one plant installed in it, then we can achieve the twin ideals of good sanitation and domestic fuel savings. Those who want to know more about the plant, they can get publications related to the plant including user manual from VK Nadep. Visit us and attend a monthly training program.